I had seen him type in some of my lectures. So when we ended up chatting at my friend's party, I was happy. You were attracted to her? Yes. Was she attracted to you? Well, it seems so. I mean, she still wanted to hang out after the party at around 2 o'clock in the morning. So I invited her to my place. And what happened when you got to your place? We had sex. Lots of sex. Was it consensual? Yes. I thought it was the beginning of a relationship, but after we had sex, Ntabi asked me for 5,000 rands. I, I, I was surprised. I thought it was a joke, but the girl was damn serious. I didn't give it to her. And uh, what did she do when you refused to pay her the money? She threatened me, said if I didn't give her the money, she'll go to my department head and the police to lay charge of rape against me. But still I refused. Less than 15 minutes after she left my rest, I was called into the dean's office. And did she proceed to lay a charge of rape? No. After I'd received the call from the dean, I, I called my parents and got the 5K. I gave him the money, but I was still expelled from the varsity, even though she did not press any charges against me. Your Worship, uh, we do not have questions for this witness. Your Worship, the state calls Holoso Rangu. Stop, stop, please, stop, Your Honor. Please. I lied, Your Honor. Mlilo Shopi did not rape me. I lied about everything. So you admit that all your claims against Mlilo Oklope are false? Yes. He did not rape you? Did not sexually assault you? No. He did not. Order. Miss Malik, why would you make allegations like this against Mr. Oklope? He humiliated me. How, how did you do that? When I said that he should pay the 30K, he refused. Everyone knows that he's rich, he can afford it. I know. So, you asked 30,000 from him. For what? He had sex with me. The money was in exchange for sex. Yes. That's how things work. Batong, Mahala. Relationships are business deals, come on! Yes, but in business deals, all the relevant parties are aware of what's been set out beforehand. Had you advised Mr. Klope that money was required in exchange for sex? No, but he should have known. John. When he refused to pay me the money, I wanted to teach him a lesson. That he's not better than me. Just because he's got, he's got money and he's rich and he lives in a mansion. Okay? And then this case just got bigger and bigger. Okay, okay. I think we have heard enough. Hey, we will concede. <laughs> Say, please sit down. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs>